and joining us to discuss the stupendous fate is Neeraj Chopra's coach Klaus Batyonets. Thank you so much, Klaus, for taking time out for joining us. Uh, this is a huge moment for India. Both you and Neeraj have become uh, like superstars in this country. But at at that place where you are, at the moment where where Neeraj achieved that. How did you take it? Did it sink in that the first three attempts didn't really get him close to the medal, but the fourth one did? Yeah, this is hard to predict what will happen. The qualification was very good. As Neeru said, it was an almost effortless throw. So really, as you said, nice, relaxed. So, and then you expect for the big one, but when you come into this competition, the main competition in the final, then the dice are thrown again, and it's a totally other game. And uh, finally, you came here for make a medal for placement, and uh, of course, with a good distance. But uh, there are seven or six uh, six men over 87 meter this year. So there were seven, six pretenders for a medal, yeah, and Nierich clinked silver. Great. Yes, it's, it's, it's great. But, uh, you know, did he have anything to say about missing out on the goal? We here are elated. But what about the athlete himself? <clears throat> Meaning uh, about not, uh, not getting the goal. A, a PB 90 meter. And with, with a 90 meter, 90 and a half, you could ha have the gold medal. Yeah, but it is difficult in this in such a main competition. Anderson Peters was the leading or still is the leading athlete of the year from mm -hmm. the very beginning with the 18 with the 93 meter throw. And he was throwing very consistently, very technically, very, very sound. So it would be a great challenge to, to beat him. But we have um, the chance in Birmingham at the Commonwealth Games and later then on at the Diamond League final. So as, as a coach, I mean, is your assessment that it is just a matter of time before that 90 meter mark is breached? Yeah, it's just a number. And uh, these things happen not then when you really hard go for it. Yeah? So this is not, not such a thing, mm -hmm. this magic 90. Right. Uh, Klaus, if you could, could help our viewers understand from that Olympic medal to this world championship uh, <coughs> silver, in between, uh, there, were, there were first a lot of celebrations. Uh, his training was affected because <coughs> so many people wanted to meet him, invite him for functions. And then the preparations began for this stage. How did you take Neeraj through that transition? Was there any <coughs> change made uh, to the way he, he practiced, he trained to, to reduce his body weight? Was there anything significant done as far as his diet is concerned? The time was uh, much shorter. Actually, we lost two to three months when we started only effectively in the beginning of December. We missed this um, conditioning part where we would like to do gymnastics. Mm. It's what he, at the one side, he likes very much. And it's also very helpful to be coordinated and overall strong in, in the body. So it's this part we missed and uh, yeah, but in the lifting, he reached again his PB. So yeah, he's strong. We could also manage it in a shorter period of time and to, the weight management is not a problem for him. There's some good food and more movement, less carbs, less carbohydrates, less, less roti, mm. then it's fine. <laughs> right, we've seen the Neera Chopra on camera. Uh, when he knows that he's he's hit the right mark, he gives that roar and we see his hair flying. When he comes for media interviews, he's for, forever smiling. What is Neeraj Chopra like behind the camera? When the cameras are not on, when he's training or when he's not happy with his performance, what is it uh, that, that, that you see about mm. this boy? Yeah, it's very, very, uh, how to say, his mind is working all the time being creative in the training, looking for uh, new options, looking for quality, because it's not so much the numbers, how much you lift, how much you uh, throw, how far you throw, it's the quality. This brings the development. And there, he, in this point, he is, is great. He is working very well. Consciousness is, the brain is switched on all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, also having fun in training, that is also the, the good thing. What, was he, was he, was he satisfied with, you, with his uh, performance today? Did he say something to you? <laughs> Any words that the two of you shared uh, at, at that moment? 
Yeah, that, I mean, when you throw so relatively effortless this 88 meter in the qualification, and then you think, yeah, maybe the 90 meter will happen and dreaming about the gold medal. So that's what he still had in his mind, I guess, but he is athlete, he's an athlete and that was here to come to clink a medal and not so much the distance. Right. Klaus Bartonetz, thank you so much for taking time out. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to your award once again. We're looking forward to more such achievements uh, in the upcoming series as well. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to viewers of uh, CNN News 18. That was Neera Chopra's coach sharing what really went through at that moment when he clinched the silver. But what about his family?